you with Tim Phillips heading to his first world championship. So was there a point when you just didn't think this was going to happen? Um, it, it's actually, I got to go back two years ago to Kazan. Oh, right. Um, right, but not qualify. It was just with the other issues that were going on. But And I swam the 100 there, too. Oh, okay. But, uh, but yeah, no, I, I didn't know. I knew that it would be tight this year. Um, kind of wasn't really expecting much, uh, especially after last year. It was kind of just uh, like almost a glory trip to just continue swimming, you know, and figure figure life out. And then started swimming really well in the season and um, thought to myself about a few weeks ago, like, hey man, I really have a, I really have a chance to put myself in the mix there. And uh, I knew it was gonna be tight with those top four guys or the other three guys that were in the event. And it's just kind of a fight to get your hand on the wall first, I think. You could do that race 10 times over and there'd be 10 different results with how good everybody is in that event, so. What could you see as you're kind of coming into the finish there? Um, so at about like 80 meters, I could see that I was still like ahead, I was leading. Um, and then with about 10 meters left, it really, uh, really started tightening up and started kicking in and I just kind of put my head down and said, not this time. I was not gonna let, not gonna let it slip away again, so. I just tried to get my hand on the wall as quick as I could, and it seemed to work out, so. Um, a little bit, yeah. Uh, I always knew that I could put myself in the position to be with the best, and to have the opportunity to finally get my hand on the wall first, and like, and really kind of prove myself, prove it to myself that I could be there and really do it. It, it does change it saying that, you know, I think I deserve to be there and I deserve to be in the mix when it comes down to it, so. Does it change your outlook on the future for you in swimming? Um, we'll see how a couple weeks go in okay. the, next, the next month go, you know. Obviously, I still want to keep swimming. I still want to do that, but uh, I am 26, you know, and there is life ahead of, life going to be ahead of swimming, so well, I'm kind of just taking it day by day, really, right now. That's kind of how this year was. It was a day by day deal, and and I think that it worked out really well. And if I, you know, we'll never know what the future holds, but if I keep doing that, I think I can keep a, you know, a good string of, good yeah. string of swimming going on, so. What was it like last night as it started to set in a little bit? It was pretty cool. Uh, you know, it was, it was nice to finally break through and finally get into a qualifying position. Um, I've been so close time and time again that, you know, it was, that was kind of, expected to be the norm for me and you know when I hit the wall last night I I really did expect to turn around and see like a third or a fifth place I you know and then to see second you know was obviously pretty cool and you know it it sunk into the fact where I was like to myself it was like yeah like I do I do deserve it and I do have the you know the ability and the opportunity to to be to be one of the best in the world so well, Tim, congratulations thanks man thank you